Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at a feature for Dagger Cloud called Traces. Uh, for this video we'll use my demo project called Greetings API on GitHub. And this is just a Go project that is a simple API that returns a greeting. Uh, so first off we can look at the, the main.go for this project, uh, which is the API itself. And the greeting that the API returns right now is Greetings Dagger Nas. Uh, so if we look at the Dagger functions for this project, and say dagger functions and this will list the functions available like lint test and so on uh, so if we wanted to call a function such as uh, lint we could say dagger call lint and ask for the parameters for that with dash dash help and we can see that uh, the argument is source where we pass in the directory with our source code so if I say dash dash source in my current directory at doc, that will run. And right away, I've got my dagger cloud token here and the traces uh, are running for the same run that we have running on my machine. So we can see all the same output over in traces uh, that we have in the terminal. And then once this linting completes, we'll be able to see the output from this command. Uh, but the cool thing is, you know, we can see this updating live with the, uh, these bars getting bigger as we wait for this lint to complete. And then once it completes, we'll have uh, the output over here. So to see this for like a CI run, for example, let's say that we want to update the greeting for this project. Instead of say, to say greetings dagger knots, it will say hello dagger knots. So let's commit this code. You can see the diff here is just changing greetings dagger knots to hello dagger knots. Uh, so if I commit this, change greeting to hello, and I'll push this. And then on this branch, let's open a PR in GitHub. And this will say change greeting to hello, and we can see our change it's just greetings, hello, and I'll make that pull request. Now, because in my project I configure, configured uh, GitHub Actions to, when we push to a branch, we want to run our function called all. Um, in this case, all is, we saw it in our functions output earlier, uh, but it's the whole pipeline, so it's gonna run the lint, build, test, and so on. And so we'll wait for that to run in GitHub. And we can see down here in the checks, we've got it running in GitHub Actions. Uh, we've also got it in Circle CI. Uh, and then we've got this Dagger logo. Uh, so the Dagger Cloud app is connected back to my GitHub repo to report the status of what we've already got running in traces. So we can see the trace right here. And again, that's calling the function all uh, with the source and we can watch the progress here and once it completes we'll see it updated here on the github page now we can see it's completed uh, we've got a red x so that means we've got a failure in our pipeline so let's go ahead and look at the details so this details button will pop me out to dagger cloud where we can look at the trace for this run now in this case since it failed we've actually got at the very top of our view here, uh, the logs for the failed command, as well as a little um, snippet of the part of the, the DAG that actually led to the failure. Uh, if we scroll down to spans, we can still see the entire run, but we've got it summarized at the top of their failure. Uh, so if we go to the bottom of the output here, we can see that actually our, our go test failed. Uh, so we've got this assertion in the main test.go. Uh, that's checking the string of the greeting. And so it said that greetings dagger knots uh, is not the same as hello dagger knots. Uh, so if we were a good developer and we ran tests locally before we pushed, we would see the same failure on our machine before pushing the CI. So you can see this test running. And again, we would get a new trace for this local run in cloud as well. And then once this completes, we can see, again, that assertion failing for 
what the greeting should be. So if we jump back to the code of where we changed uh, greetings to hello, if we look at the test side by side, we can see where that assertion is failing, uh, where it's checking for the greeting to be actually greetings to Agronauts. Uh, so for this pull request, let's go ahead and update the test as well to say hello to reflect our change. And now we can see our change there and we want to push that commit. And we'll push this up to GitHub. And now we'll see the new run happening on our pull request. And so we see the new commit come in and the status with the checks running. Uh, we see that the CI run started and then the Dagger Cloud check in there and then we'll wait for this to complete. And while it's running, we could even go ahead and check the trace that's happening over on the GitHub side. So we go back to this and say, here's our GitHub run. And we can see it happening in real time. Uh, looks like it's running the go tests. And we can just wait for the completion here. Um, as soon as those tests complete, we should see it green and hopefully a nice clean output. There we go on the dagger trace. So this one's completed and our test pass and now we're able to merge our PR. So with those helpful outputs from the traces here, we're able to debug a test failure in CI uh, and then trace that back to our change that we made and fix those tests.